a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Good morning and welcome to another episode of Alpha. I'm Pastor Jeremy Johnson and as we continue to reflect on the book of Hebrews today we look at a glorious beginning. Let us pray. Everlasting Father and our God as we reflect upon your words inspire us through them we pray in Jesus name. Amen. In order to understand the messages in the book of Hebrews and what they truly mean to us, we must first understand the congregation to whom the Apostle Paul wrote the letter. And as we focus on their, what we call in theology, Sitzim Leben, the historical setting, we learn a lot. Clearly from Hebrews chapter two, we read in those preliminary verses that the message of salvation was confirmed to these new believers with signs and wonders and gifts from the Holy Spirit. Such a great salvation that if one were to neglect it, no doubt such an individual would suffer great loss because of how confirmed the salvation was. The apostle makes it abundantly clear from the context of the passage that these Hebrews never necessarily heard Jesus himself preach, but came to the gospel message through the proclamation of other evangelists who would have brought the message of Jesus Christ to them, the good news of salvation, the gospel. In the early church, we read a lot about the Holy Spirit empowering the believers and the signs and wonders that accompanied the same. For example, at Pentecost, God poured out the Holy Spirit upon the apostles and they had extraordinary gifts. They spoke in languages, for example, uh, previous to which they had no knowledge of. It's so much so that those who came to Pentecost were questioning among themselves, are these not all Galileans? How it is that we hear them speak in languages that we were born speaking? And that being something supernatural in their, in their eyes, confirmed the fact that God must be among these believers. They saw the miracles with the man at the gate of beautiful. They saw Paul, how he actually healed and raised Eutychus from the dead and several other instances where the power and magnificence of God was on display. God's way of affirming and confirming that this salvation is no cult as many thought the early Christian church to be, but that indeed it was from God. God blessed the believers with many gifts, abilities that previously they never had and now they were able to do these things as if they were fully experienced in these fields. An experiential display of the power of God which gave the confirmation and affirmation that the gospel message they were receiving and the persons from whom they received the same were actually from God. Today, we have received the same word they received because once everything were written aforetime was written for our learning. And just as how we are affirmed through God's miraculous display time after time in those days, God still continues to affirm His power in our lives to remind us that the gospel message that we've been given is one that we can indeed trust. And that, my friend, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Lord, thank you so much for confirming this salvation with many signs and wonders. Help us, Lord, to believe in you, therefore, and to serve you with all of our hearts, knowing that it is not a cunningly devised fable that we trust in, but something that has been tested, something that has been proven, something that has been affirmed and confirmed in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for making it Alpha. Join us again tomorrow for another edition. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.